It is said that the closer we are to God, the more we love Him and worship Him, the more we pray, the harder the devil works to derail us and to take us away from God. Because that is exactly the devil's job. He exists all right. He is a spirit, very much like the angels are spirits, very much like our souls are spirits, and we live on after we die. The devil, too, is a spirit. Is an evil spirit, a malevolent spirit, whose job, as I said, is to take us away from God. He does this in various ways, through temptation, for instance. Let's face it, he tempted Jesus many times, so we shouldn't be much of a challenge for him. And another way, apart from temptation, is by playing with our fears, with our minds, with our worries. Let's say, for example, you hear something bad in the news and you worry about it. We are anxious about how it will affect us or affect our loved ones. And as anxiety grows, the thing we have heard about in the news continues playing on our minds and we can't shake it away. The devil takes over. This is his playground. He makes us more and more concerned both for ourselves, our loved ones and whatever else we are fearing at that moment in time. And this is the way he gets us to start doubting about God, doubting his very existence, his love for us and his protections. I think in a way we should be proud when the devil does that, when the devil attacks us and tries to draw us away from God because it proves that we are worthy of him to be bothered with us. Let's face it, he would not have bothered if we were already lost souls. So when he actually comes to attack us and lead us astray, it shows and it proves that we are in effect close to God and we should use this opportunity to defeat the devil through prayer and through trust, unfailing trust in God. Let us pray to God that throughout our anxiety and our fears we know we believe as much as we possibly humanly can that God still loves us, is still in control of the situation and will protect us. Nothing bad will happen to us or our loved ones if we trust him totally. Thank you for listening. God bless.